Okay. So, starting with so uh, is uh, you know based on the web development and uh, it includes the EA and the HTML and uh, development and you know the more uh, more concepts for the service services last last time we discussed the web services and then ECU and many more things need to be discussed like you said that uh, you have started the uh, you know HTML and uh, you know CSS yeah and the question arise you know that uh, did you work with the uh, you know CMS the content management system like you said that uh, yes you did so what I was trying to say is that uh, CMS made the life easy yeah so CMS provides you a uh, reusability of the code basically yeah and uh, reusability of the code in a sense that uh, the redevelopment of the CSS basically like if you wanted to apply a kind of CSS only so CSS is mostly you know uh, a kind of scheme yeah which is which overlaps the you know uh, font sizes and you know other features related with the text yeah and yes. even you know not only the text uh, independent however the text used inside you know the uh, tables and obviously no matter if those tables are visible or not their borders are you know visible or not but overall CLS CSS you know overrides and yes. uh, but when you write a CSS and write you write the code for the CSS and you know the HTML, then still you become a kind of hard coded, yeah. So mm -hmm. hard coded in a sense, uh, you are uh, basically writing the code for one website, yeah. yeah so yeah. the content management systems give you an opportunity to write the scheme write the theme and that theme could be used to apply on the number of websites basically yeah yes, yeah so yeah, yeah. number of websites so number of websites like a content management system is uh, installed on a server yeah and uh, then you try to create your content yeah so your content is independent of the format and you are given an opportunity to select the theme for your content isn't it yes yes so like a wordpress theme and in joomla you select a template and uh, many more things yeah so somehow again there is a, you know another discussion that the differences between the joomla and the wordpress and uh, you know that's not our topic but the main idea is that uh, you are trying to utilize the core language which is the hypertext markup language yeah and uh, its layer the further layer is the css that's getting style sheet and uh, you know more you know customized thing is the content management system yeah so regarding the web development yeah so you would be learning all of them yeah 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 so any good or bad experience with this um i've, I've not i've not really had a, a great deal of experience so 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 this is this is going to be one of the modules that i'm going to and enjoy the most because it'll be most most le uh, where the most learning will be okay that's good so one more thing in addition to uh, you know Joomla or WordPress or overall content management system what's what is popular it the popular thing is the theme basically yeah, yeah. so the theme development is that it's not only the theme that you are uh, trying to use the existing one but you can also create your own theme yeah and you can further create uh, and uh, you know reuse the theme to uh, you know for anyone else 
you can create uh, you know a, uh, even you can sell the theme as well yeah? yeah so theme builders tools are available yeah and uh, what basically you need to do you need to do uh, like create a photoshop background first yeah and uh, you make the sections like a border let, let's say header body footer and then you slice that portion yeah and yeah. Uh, convert those you know uh, uh, segments into uh, you know different uh, programmable and approachable you know frames yeah and then you define for example into the cms that uh, how those you know components would be changed like cms you know like uh, uh, wordpress gives you and give you an opportunity to change the header yeah so yeah, yeah. from the template you have already sliced the header yeah and you can quickly you know change the font or uh, font or color of uh, header or wherever necessary yeah so it's basically a kind of special uh, specialty and uh, it's also a business as well isn't it uh, very much so yes yeah it's also a business, very business and what happens most of the time the uh, you know most of the organizations they really don't want to uh, you know buy any template or theme uh, from the market which is available you know uh, are being used by anyone else do you agree mm -hmm. yeah, oh yeah yeah very much so yeah, yeah. like a uh, small you know small you know companies yeah they might be you know accessing uh, might might be you know accepting the uh, reusable themes for example any accountant firm yeah or any you know small retailer yeah they might be happy to you know uh, use any existing theme or template which another accountant might have also used only the difference would be the you know logo isn't it yes yeah and and um, <clears throat> there's also limitations to what you could uh, to, to to the template on cmss as well is, is that correct uh, what what do you say I say is there's there's also design limitations to how much freedom you have to to design the website the way you want it. Um and in a CMS you're you're restricted by certain templates. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, you mean the notations and the copyrights and you know the differences between the free versions and you know the uh premium versions, yeah. It, it's it's more to do with um so, so, so for example, if if I if I was to build my own website, I could yeah. customize it to exactly what I want. Whereas yeah. my experience on CMSs is because you're bound by the the template. You know, maybe yeah. you, you have restrictions on where you place things, or or what data you want to pull, or what you want to present. So, 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 CMS is good for people that don't have the technical ability to design websites i think is, is yeah fair. that's true yeah yeah i would say that the cms is basically uh you know easy to use web web builder yeah and no expertise required at all for key. basically what i would say that you in cms you really don't create a website a website but you only customize an existing content yes uh, yeah are you only drag and drop yeah yeah yeah, yeah. and uh, yeah the my point of view that uh, uh, what i was trying to say that even if you have got a cms a full premium version of the uh, you know developer but it still it would be it would have you know uh, much more uh, similarities if more than one people one company uh, uh, you know is being used isn't it yes yeah yeah so people can identify quickly that oh 
uh, this website and this you know theme has uh, has been used in let's say five of the you know, colleges or universities isn't it yes yes yeah no matter however the good functionality it has but you would be a kind of you know uh, it will not give you a uniqueness isn't it that's correct yes yeah. so it comes to again mm -hmm. you know the research that you re would require yeah to further design the cms and uh, customize the design uniquely yeah yeah so that is skill is must and uh, either uh, you know you create your own but even there are other tools as well that let you change the existing cms yeah uh you know theme so that you can entirely change it but really depends whether the developers the the one that you have bought it yeah does it allow you to change the content and publish or not again there will be some issues the legal issues the copyright issues that whether you are allowed to change the theme or not make sense yeah 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 so this comes under a kind of you know the ethical issues uh, that we would be discussing today as well uh, issues and like with the uh, now, this this topic is especially for you know the marketing yeah but mm -hmm. the regarding uh, the laws also applies with the marketing as well as you know the uh, development yeah because yeah. when you when you are using certain something for the development it means you are using it openly isn't it yes yes okay yeah so, so now, now let us you know uh, formally msm the today's topic is the e marketing yeah e marketing tools the strategies and the channels that how you can market your business online yeah Mm -hmm. so e marketing also known as internet market marketing web marketing digital marketing or online marketing you must be aware of it isn't it uh, yes yes yeah yeah so when it comes to you you want to market so is the process of marketing a product or service used in the internet e marketing not only includes the marketing on the internet but also includes the marketing done via email uh wireless and my wireless media wireless media is basically the mobile and mobile itself is basically you know the uh internet isn't it yes yeah yeah, yeah. so why the email is you know, and when it comes to say like a uh, marketing on the internet it it means you are trying to approach approach the websites yeah so everything you want to market that would be shown on either on the internet so internet means on the web pages or it would be marketed via email yeah so email is also kind of different uh platform and uh, then the mobile and the mobile somehow i would say that uh, uh uh you know the mobile browsing is slightly different from the uh conventional computer browsing okay yeah because uh what happens that uh, the the browser you normally browse on the mobile yeah basically that's an image so so so, so sorry could you um could could you explain so the difference between the browser and the mobile is yeah so what happens yeah what happens that uh, uh you must have noticed that the layout of the normal web is different from the you know uh the layout of the mobile browser and uh, on the mobile oh, sorry i mean 
the layout of the mobile view yeah on your browser is different from the layout on the computer you you must have noticed oh yeah 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 i noticed that yeah, yeah. so they they call a term like uh, you know adaptive yeah and uh, the so what happens uh, you know the whenever whatever the size of the screen is the uh, you know the layout or you know the size of the contents and you know the menus and the length with it you know becomes the uh, flexible mm -hmm. yeah so yeah, yeah. Yeah. So what happens? Uh, most of the time, the pop-up menus. Yeah, the pop-up menus, and you know, suddenly the uh, messages you get messages on and the marketing messages, and you know, on the normal computer, you must have noticed. Uh, yeah, yeah. So on the normal computer, yeah, you get you get pop-ups, whereas yeah, yeah, pop-ups, yeah. and. And you know, on the however, on the mobile, you don't see any pop-ups. Uh, no, no, not in the same way. But sometimes I've yeah. noticed it does, it does open a, a, a new, a new, a new tab. Yeah, they open a new, new tabs. Yeah. So the idea behind you know displaying a web browser, web browser content is different. Yeah. And uh, what they basically do. Uh, there is a you know technique behind that uh, uh, you know you try to browse the uh, you know anything and on the mobile it does not becomes available to you a direct clickable but it is in the form of image basically yes yeah 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 so responsive they they call a word responsive yeah uh, so the any any uh, template any view on the browser is you know uh, called a responsive which adopts the view of mobile y yes i understand that yeah yeah so you must have heard about the th some of the things that this theme is responsive uh, yes yeah 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 so responsive is basically the the things are adaptive they change you know uh, their characteristics and you know the view so let us come to the topic again so marketing is basically on the conventional computers as via the email or wireless media so wireless media is the mobile and the mobile strategy is again a different from the you know non conventional uh, you know computers that's what i wanted to say yeah 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 so if if somebody tried to you know market via the pop-ups yeah then they will have to do something else on the, for the mobile devices yeah yeah that, 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 I, under, I understand that yeah no yeah. yeah so that's the difference so it uses a range of technologies to help to help to connect businesses to their customers yeah so yeah, that's true. That's not only the uh, that's the internet, that's the email, that's the mobile, and further, you know, we will be discussing more. Uh, you know that apart from the browsing, there is also you know the videos as well, the webinars, and many things we will be discussing. Yeah. So the multi-platform are much better return on investment. From uh, then that of traditional marketing is it helps in increasing sales revenue. So e-marketing is much more effective than the traditional marketing. Do you agree? Uh, yes, very much so. Yeah. Yeah, because everybody, most of the time, people are you know on the internet as compared to on the newspapers or magazines or television, isn't it? Yes, yeah, yeah. And even I have noticed that uh, on television, you most of the companies they mock it, you know, oh, this is kind of a life cover for 10 pounds, you know, or two pounds a month, for example. Yeah. And uh, that ad uh, the advertisement on the telly is very expensive. They quickly say 07975, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. 
and uh, until you watch that their ad yeah 10 times yeah and you record on the mobile and see what their number is and then you can see you know uh, uh, their website their actual offer isn't it yeah that's right yeah yeah or maybe you know they just says oh SDA is offering you know uh, 70 percent discount you know in your area then again you won't be you know looking at the telly you would just knew and you would go to their website isn't it yeah that's right yeah yeah and if if the voucher says you know are the you know you you got leaflet from the tool station yeah sometimes you know the tool station are screw fix you know they send uh, uh you know the uh, uh some leaflets of their offers you know and uh, many more you know 70 uh, percent discounts but can you personally say that do you look at their catalogs or you directly again go to the website and browse you know what they really you know want to uh, you know sell I, I i can't remember the last time i ever looked at a catalog sorry um, i says i can't remember the last time i looked at a catalog yeah exactly so even even what happens that they try to uh, you know market via traditional methods yes do i i there is some exception that those people like elderly people those who don't use the internet you know uh, frequently and they don't uh, you know want to maybe 30 percent of you know old age people you know they still try the catalogs but it is expensive yeah and uh, they expensive in a sense that uh, they need to throw the thousands of the leaflets via doors and only maybe 10 20 you know people would be interested isn't it yes yeah then number two is e-marketing means reduced marketing campaign uh, campaign cost as the marketing is done through the internet because it is cheaper and uh, the if any if you approach anyone via internet it would be maybe let's say one pence per customer however if you do uh, you know drop the leaflet then the leaflet itself could be you know the printed material would be 10 pence maybe and the postage and other things you know they could cost you one pound per per person isn't it yeah yeah the fast results of the campaign is it helps to target the right customer so it's the fastest as well and uh, easy monitoring through the web tracking capabilities help uh, you know make e-marketing highly efficient yeah and uh, using e-marketing viral content can be made which helps a viral marketing yeah so viral in a sense uh, you know the if it's a offer let's say uh, you know the ESDA or Tesco is selling a few of the products you know uh, let's say 80 percent you know off yeah then uh, if it was done you know via the conventional marketing then probably the items available the stock available could go you know maybe over the days for example yeah or months yeah if it is e-marketing and when you say that is uh, you know buy one gate ten free then i think that uh, if you think that you are going to tesco for example in the evening then you would found no nothing would be left over yeah 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 so it, the, it so e-marketing is a kind of viral marketing when it becomes it becomes viral and yeah that uh, let us see how you really market strategies and the channels that you use uh, the number of options available to you invest in web design do search engine marketing affiliate and associate programs hire a coach or consultant use email marketing build an opt-in email list get into articles or news stories write online press releases all contests and giveaways maintain a blog social media video marketing paper click advertising events and webinars so i believe that you should be 
uh, already aware from these uh, type of the you know strategies and the tools yeah but let us see one by one that how they are you know helpful yeah 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 so invest in a web design yeah so for example if you have a business yeah and you want your market your you know business via your website then do not ignore the investment the good investment into the website why because the first impression is the last impression the website normally you must have observed that many companies yeah uh, unless they are a very you know big uh, nationwide company like let's say uh, you know the screw fix the uh, you know uh, tool station the argos yeah the amazon uh, but if it is a kind of local like let's say a midland based company yeah or uh, the northern company and if it is not good enough do you think you would like to go through the purchase uh, uh, very much. no no you would avoid it but yeah. even if you are you know customers are local yeah and uh, you have a good website you have invested into the website then you would it would be one of the first uh, and the most primary initiative in the marketing yeah 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 so uh the first thing that invest into the web design and then you would get the results and then and then you can try the other you know options if you don't invest in your good website then you will not be getting the actual target yeah that's right yeah so search engine marketing and opti optimization so search engine mar um, uh, marketing and optimization they are basically the two things yeah can you yeah. tell me the difference in between so 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 the, the the search engine optimization is where you you essentially optimize your data to get the best um to get the best a uh, a uh, you know so for example if you take google if yeah. if, um, if you didn't yeah. get the right keywords then yeah. google wouldn't wouldn't pick you up so search engine optimization is about getting the the keywords or the buzzwords yeah there so that when people search it comes up first and then search engine marketing is when you actually put ads in a search engine search which is relevant to your business yeah yeah so marketing is that you pay something uh, you know to the search engine and they would list your you know website and give some keywords however optimization is that uh, your content on the website yeah the visible content what you offer and hidden content the description about your products yeah should have been uh, you know uh, identified and indexed by the the search engines uh, effectively yeah 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 effectively effectively in a sense uh, that uh, your content should have some visibility yeah and why your content would have a visibility your content because your content will have a value yeah so yeah. if your content will have a value and it would have uh, more searching you know uh, power yeah because you would be representing a product then the a search engine would give give a kind of you know priority in bringing up the search results yeah that's right yeah yeah affiliate okay. associate programs yeah any idea about the affiliate programs uh, yeah so I, I believe that this is where people signpost or or redirect you from from another web page so it's so essentially ads adverts yeah they they sometimes they redirect you and uh, sometimes because they get a commission from their you know redirection yeah that's right yeah, yeah yeah so 
basically and, and, and in your company can share your information grow market commission based platform so commission is main thing uh, you give a commission to people and they you know market your product no matter if it is good or not but it works in this way yeah 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 coach or consultant yeah so if you are not sure that uh, uh, why your market your business is not growing then someone need to teach you yeah and uh, consult you that wh where is the problem whether there is a problem in the marketing whether there is a problem in the your business uh, setup or maybe the whatever you know is missing uh, maybe you your website need improvements whatsoever so you must consider hiring a consultant make sense yes very much so yeah good we are available ray and me you know will be a very good consultants isn't it yes excellent <laughs> <laughs> then use email marketing like i said earlier that uh, you know uh, it's not only marketing on the web pages or affiliate programs or others but uh, you try to market via email yeah and uh, mm -hmm. Even nowadays, what happens that email marketing has become very intelligent. Do you agree? Uh, yes, yes. Previously, it used to be normal, and then when it became, you know, the uh, kind of spamming, yeah, unsolicited, uh, you know, emails used to come. Then obviously, uh, nowadays there are lots of filters. You know, uh, they throw into the junk mail very easily do you agree mm -hmm. yeah. yes yeah. but when it comes to you then you try a few items on the you know ebay or amazon and uh, you know you just try it you search and what happens on the next day and for next few weeks the amazon and the ebay would be sending you the reminders about the similar items that you were interested in Yes, that's right. Yeah, have you have you experienced this? Oh, uh, a, a, a lot, a lot actually. Yeah. So, like you know, uh, for a few days, you know, I was trying the class shoes online. Yeah, and then and every day, you know, I am getting email from you know amazing uh, Amazon and the class, the new models, the new shades of the you know choose and along with uh, the discounts and even when the when they are outlets you know or the normal store they have reduced the prices they also inform me oh come on hurry up you know the prices have been reduced yes i yeah. uh yeah I've, so I've, I've experienced that a lot yeah so that's basically you know the email marketing and the efficient e email marketing of the day of you know of to, to today's you know email efficient market marketing yeah and previously it use it not used to be the that much interesting isn't it yeah i mean i i on i on some unsubscribe from everything now um, yeah exactly but now uh, at least you know amazon and ebay i don't want to unsubscribe and that's really interesting yeah, yeah, I think it, yeah, it depends on 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 your requirements, really, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah. Then it says build an opt-in email list, like as your subscriber, whosoever is interested, you keep on, you know, give them, giving them, you know, the updates. Yeah. Yeah. Then get into articles or news stories. Yeah, you always try to write the articles. Yeah, into the public platforms. Yeah our stories success stories uh, about your customers and many more things yeah yeah press releases yeah press releases maybe you know the on your website on your newspapers yeah blogs many other social media that how your company is going and you know it's also one kind of marketing because it's not only the case that you are offering kind of products yeah or oh, buy this item buy that item yeah but yes. one of the press release is kind of a joint you know uh, information uh, 
about your company and maybe you know its successes and future goals and you know products yeah yes hold a contest and give away yeah that's really good and uh, if somebody would know that there is a webinar or a seminar you know they would be participating and there would be a lucky draw to the customers a free product will be given then definitely that contest or giveaways you know will give a number of participants increased yeah isn't it yes yes then maintain a blog yeah uh, blogs uh, normally you know blogs are also kind of articles but uh, you know the blogs blogging sites allow you to write a blog basically yes yeah yeah so they are informative what happens you know the blogs give the uh, search engines of they are basically the search in, uh, search engine friendly yeah and uh, when the companies want to write uh, the blogs basically uh, on their own or somebody is writing a blog for a for a company then it also works in a way yeah so they mm -hmm. they basically uh, you know uh, share their ideas yeah and uh, give an advice they can they can give an offer uh, you know they explain you know about the company as well yeah 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 oh that can that can also be a review as well yeah yes yes then social media marketing so this previously you know the search engines were the source of kind of marketing the e marketing while for example when somebody tried to buy the like i said you know i wanted the shoes online yeah then uh, i was able to get the number of advertisements available you know on the search engine on the google however the social market and social media marketing like on the facebook and you know the instagram and uh, other you know social networks they are basically active nowadays very active yeah and mm -hmm. uh, if you think that uh, conventional website cannot work for you then you are directly using uh, you know the social media and uh, the social media platforms they have become you know a kind of uh, uh, it's a big discussion uh, you know again uh, they are they used to be social before yeah and now they have been they the social media has become a business now oh the, very much so yeah like uh, one page you know fans like uh, you know a page used to have a fans like a uh, uh, 10000 fans uh, for example the minimum the facebook used to feed every ten, everyone you know all of the 10000s and now they are not you know feeding they are not you know fetching reaching the people for a particular post do you agree yes yeah yeah so they are asking the money and on uh, on uh, against the money they want to market isn't it yes so more normally you know a uh, kind of visual products you normally uh, market on instagram pinterest facebook and but if it is a kind of service yeah or or the you know product then you normally use uh, linkedin twitter google plus these are ne are the networks for the business to business you know uh business to business model and i have noticed you know i find most of the businesses on the linkedin nowadays isn't it yes yeah that that's that's really grown yeah video marketing yeah and the video marketing one of the uh, most successful tool is basically the youtube nowadays isn't it yes yeah however the facebook is also going to be a platform for the video marketing like uh, uh, you know 
you watch the videos nowadays and you see the advertisement into the videos isn't it yes yeah but that's rare rare at the moment yeah because uh, i'm not sure that why they are not you know giving a more uh, you know advertisements however uh, you know sponsor aids you know you get lots of them on the facebook that's that's correct yeah so youtube you try the video marketing and then pay per click marketing the pay per click marketing is also the model uh, for example which is used in the search engine as well as the google adwords yeah mm-hmm. so what the google adwords is that uh, you must know you must have seen the google adwords yeah yes yeah so what people do people have their own personal websites yeah and they embed the google adwords or any other advertisement panels yeah on certain sites and uh, like a foot uh, the uh, the side menu yeah or on the top menu the dedicated space is given for the uh, ads yeah and whichever the ad is shown into the third party websites yeah they are being paid per click yes yeah yeah so the search engines or search engine marketing what they get the marketing is done on the search engine website yeah and the social media marketing is done on the social media platforms and the contents uh, mixed with the social contents yeah social media contents the pay per click marketing is done on the third party websites yeah they mm-hmm. are mixed up with their content yeah and uh, in addition to the normal clicking or usage of their third parties whenever the user you know uh, tries to click on the content of the uh, advertisement uh, uh, willingly or accidentally yeah uh, like whether they know that uh, this is a ad or you know the part of the third party website then uh, the one who markets is being charged yeah mm-hmm. yeah you must have you know observed that on the website some of most of the contents are the paid per click isn't it that's correct yeah then events and webinars you sometimes you know uh, companies organize some of the events and uh, they call people and uh, you know they uh, to they to invite an audience and to market their broad product or service yeah and the webinars you use online seminars to promote your company and products and attract the customers yeah yeah so these are basically the strategies as well as the channels basically the topics two topics have been uh, you know merged that uh, how what strategy you will use that using the channel is basically the strategy so webinars even you know the uh events pay per click video marketing social marketing blogs giveaways online press release articles and email list and uh, marketing by email con- and hiring a consultant these are the strategies yeah strategies and the channels as well yeah yeah do you think anything else is you know uh, needs to be added here um no i think i think i think it's um they are the most popular popular and basically you know uh, these have been taken from the internet and uh, maybe tomorrow you get more more things yes maybe couple of things co- could be added here and further classified but they are the one of the most popular and they heard of all articles and the strategies available on the net yeah yeah now issues yeah 
So whenever you want to mark it, then obviously it's not easy. It's not a piece of cake, isn't it? That's right. There's uh, there's lots of regulations and things that have yeah, to be done. Yeah, regulations, and even if you are sending an email, yeah, and someone is not your subscriber, yeah, they haven't given you, you know, the permission to send the newsletter, then they can take you to the court. Isn't yeah. it? Yes, yes. Yeah. So normally by law, they get your permission. Yeah. And uh, then they send you the email. And if you don't like, then you, uh, you then you unsubscribe. However, sending, uh, you know, unsolicited emails, they can be sued, sued as well. That's right. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so these are the issues. So you never try, you know, without, without knowing the no and knowing the law. And some of the problems that you can face in e-marketing are, uh, you know, uh, in the e-business e that, uh, which is the web spoofing, cyber squatting, privacy. So let us see what, what is web spoofing. So web spoofing is that, uh, for example, if you are a Microsoft, yeah, mm -hmm. then uh, Microsoft company, yeah then you could have, you know, a problem when somebody tries to create a web website, let's say, uh, you know, instead of O for Oscar, they have used a, a zero in their domain. Yeah. Yeah. So they call is a web spoofing. So uh, that's a basically the deception on the internet. You should be, you know, uh, you should know about it. That's an that's a basically issue. That's a one off issue. Yeah. That's correct. Yeah. And then another is the cyber squatting. Yeah. The cyber squatting is that uh, what you know the hackers or the competitors do. They try to buy a similar domains. Yeah. And uh, try to steal your actual customers. Yeah. Have you ever noticed this? Oh yeah, very much. Yeah. Yeah. Like a Walmart. Walmart is basically the as does as does Walmart. Yeah. And this example, or let's say as does sucks. Or Tesco deals. Yeah. Or Tesco, let's say offers. However, the Tesco offers the company itself would have never, you know, uh, never register or needed Tesco offers. Yeah. But people still, you know, uh, you know, try to purchase such kind of domains uh, by relevant uh, relevance of uh, the existing well-known companies, and they try to get the, you know, advantage, isn't it? That's right. Yeah. Then privacy in mansion that uh, uh, that is basically that when personal details belonging to the customers are exposed to the unauthorized party. Yeah. It happens, yeah. So how it happens? The e-com businesses sometimes they buy the individual details. You never know, but it always happens. You know that you call, you get a calls from you know the accident companies, from other related things. But uh, you know it happens. So while you are in a business, then privacy invention happens. The customer data can be stolen. Isn't it? Uh, yes, that's right. Yeah. Not the all data, but at even, you know, for email and marketing purposes, they can steal and it happens. Isn't it? Yeah. You always get, you know, uh, relevant marketing calls, relevant emails, and even even you are interested in, but you never know, you never shared your, you know, data with uh, the particular, you know, company who is calling to you. Isn't it? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, basically people, people and the uh, sell the number of, you know, emails, yeah, uh, uh, you know, illegally, isn't it? Yes. For example, there is a, there is the list of customers, the registered customers from Tesco, yeah, 
and uh, let's say it's a 10000 you know customers of the tesco who regularly you know get the newsletters and for example the esda you know bought it you know they those customer list and the esda reduce the 10% price on the sum of the popular items and if they are sending you know in any ways the marketing they can you know easily uh, you know harm and harm the existing tesco and they can increase their sale isn't it correct yes yeah. so the privacy invention has that you know has that problem and then the online uh, online piracy yeah the online online piracy is also the problem yeah you should be very much you know uh, careful that whatever the products you are selling yeah you should uh, you know follow the copyrights the trademarks and you know uh, many more rules for example the uh, if you have an online store then some of the products you can not sell at all for example the ladies bags yeah the yeah. some of brands the only companies can sell isn't it that's correct then yeah. email is spamming yeah so you cannot uh, send the unsolicited commercial emails as well like we discussed earlier there is a law behind and then some legislation is involved in the e-commerce so the uh, electronic commerce legislation ec directive 2002 the data protection act distance selling and the ico kila so the e-com uh, uh, directive regulation 2000 says that uh, you must clearly display your website terms and conditions yeah yeah you provide a clear information on a product price takes and cost of the delivery do you agree yes yeah yeah some of the you know websites you know they don't display the price very clearly and when they you know come to the uh, check out then vat is added extra you know taxes are you know added even in the uk for example some of the it's a only vat yeah but in other countries you know lots of taxes are applied independently yeah 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 so this law says that you must display everything you know clearly and few more things the data protection act you know obviously you should respect the privacy of your customers yeah and distance selling you know has also the law so who says that you must provide a clear and concise information about your product you must clearly mention the postage and packaging cost as well and must include the vat receipts yeah the invoices and uh, all the goods exchange and you know the return policies everything you know must have been mentioned yeah yes then ico cookie law and the cookie law is basically you know uh nowadays uh, every company every website basically they want to sell the customer data so they previously they used to you know steal our habits of browsing yeah mm -hmm. that what we browse on the website but now they every time you must have noticed that every website ask you ask you the permission for the cookies otherwise you know if you don't accept then they are not taking you to their website isn't it that's correct yes most of the website some of the cookies are you know uh, you know skipped but most of the time they have made you know addicted us uh, that we cannot you know avoid we allow them yeah so uh, by law we allow the, the websites they may note down our search history yeah Mm -hmm. so and then the social acceptance of the marketing previously uh, like uh, uh, like uh, you know the pay per click advertisements yeah they used to be 85% successful yeah like mm -hmm. you know the website used to put the advertisement banners yeah uh, you know on the middle on the sides and they the people used to be easily cheated isn't it yeah 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 but those websites used to be a kind of you know the 
uh, articles, websites, the informative blogs, and uh, people used to make these websites, you know, to get the revenue from the the ads. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You must have seen those many websites, you know, like uh, e-sign articles, the how the stuff works, or you know. Uh, many more websites which have lots of you know the articles uh, how the stuff was and many similar websites they rely on you know the advertisements isn't it that's correct yeah yeah but if i would i would be using that website i would give them a chance of 0.001 percent of the click Yes, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. So people have become, you know, intelligent. Yeah. And they are not. They have under. They they would have been able to understand w what is the actual content and what is the paid content, isn't it? Yeah, that's right. Because because yeah. I I use I use an ad blocker so that I don't yeah. see these ads. That's the one option, but even. On the page, you can easily know that which content is the actual website and which one is the you know marketed website, isn't it? Y yes, sometimes, sometimes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But the last point of the today's session that unfortunately the Google has become greedy as well as intelligent. It has made us helpless. Have you noticed? Mm -hmm. or, or very much so, very much so. Um, you know how, how, what techniques they have done. When you are searching a term, it is giving you the list of the, you know, uh, uh, list of advertised links, yeah, the sponsored links, as well as the actual link, which is not sponsored, but it does not allow you to click on the actual link but it is definitely redirecting you on the first click yeah and yeah. then after first or second click then that link becomes available have you noticed it yes because sometimes i've not noticed them and by accident i've clicked a sponsored link rather than no, a no, no. apart from the sponsor link yeah, uh -huh. what what Google is doing, uh, the search results result you know come to you come in front of you for five seconds. When you try to click, uh, you just move the cursor and start clicking it. Then it flips in front of you deliberately. Yeah, and definitely it is getting get gets clicked deliberately as you hover the mouse. Yeah, the result, you know, flips. That's a one, you know, uh, uh, cheating and another cheating that after, you know, uh, the sponsor link, let's say five, six, the seventh one is your required, uh, you know, the link. Even for example, if it is a, let's say, uh, Amazon.com, if you wrote mm -hmm. Amazon.com, then the direct link to Amazon.com is not available and you will need to click on Amazon. The first click would be the another pop up, basically pop up. A new tab would be open, open, or you know it would take you to the paid ad advertisement. And the second time, you know the actual link would be available. Normally, I, whenever I search on the internet or you know the Google, I always use the search links into the new tabs. Yeah. But assume, you know, that Google is, you know, thinking far, you know, where the idea of people, you know, stops and they have, you know, found a solution. Yeah. You got it. Like yeah. the Google, previously, the Google used to show clearly the number of sponsor ads and then the actual search. Yeah. So by that strategy, like this, this was working like a 0 0.001, yeah. But now their their interest is working 100%. You know, uh, their technique is working 100%. That's what I want to say. Yes.
yeah maybe not 100 but 85 percent you know they are working because if no one has interest in my keyword yeah then i will be able to get the direct clickable link i can show you the example as well but you know that uh, you can try that uh, maybe to next next uh, you know in the next class you can give your ex experience of the uh, you know using google in detail okay yeah and i would share with you my experience as well yeah it's a little two minutes experience we will you know uh, discuss next time yeah yeah all right yeah i've got a question yeah um I, I don't know how these are normally structured, um, but but something I wanted to ask was uh, the, the the way the way I would like to to, to work is that after each uh, learning outcome, uh, yeah. I'd like to to start the assessment. Um, so, is it, do you have a couple of minutes just to go over learning outcome uh, one one and two? Uh, uh, just, just from an assessment perspective. Uh, basically, you know, I need to uh, leave. Uh, you know, can we? Uh, you know, it's, it's okay. Let's 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 do it. Let's do it uh, on the next session. Just just yeah. To cover sorry, yeah, because I need to uh, you know log off and I need to do an important thing. So, uh, can you send me an email? Uh, what you really want to ask? Yeah, yeah, it's it's fine. It was just um, it was just to go over the 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 the, the assessment. Um, yeah. That, that was all. Um, yeah. Please, please write me, send me an email. Yeah, and I would yeah. quickly respond to you, and then we can discuss. You know. Yeah. Cool. Uh, one second. You know. Uh, yeah, that's fine. You know, you send me, and I, I'm sorry, I need to log off, and then you know, I would respond to you. Yeah, that, that's 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 perfect. Thank you very much, Ajay. Okay. Oh, welcome, and I hope you should have enjoyed the session today. Uh, and uh, I would see you next time. Yeah. Thank you. See you next week, guys. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.